Hello, this is Gio, and hey, look what we have here. These are actually internal hard drives, uh, internal to a computer. And I took these out of an old um, Windows 98 based computer. Uh, one of them works and one of them doesn't. And they're only about, these are uh, Max or hard drives. They're only about uh, two and a half gigs each. So they don't really, they're pretty old. They don't really hold much, but I figured this is a good opportunity to kind of open one up and show you what a hard drive looks like from the inside. Now I do like to keep everything that at least works, but one of these things do not work. Now this one uh, still has the bracket that holds it into the computer, uh, and this one still works. Um, and this is actually the master drive, and this one is was the slave and never really worked. And you can kind of listen, let's shake it. You can kind of hear a rattling in there. Now that's either um, the platter kind of clanking, maybe the pl uh, platter broke, or uh, possibly the header uh, bar kind of moving back and forth. But it's not supposed to sound like that. You shake this one, and this one doesn't sound like it's rattling like that. So uh, I know it doesn't work. Um, I plugged it in many times, and it doesn't work, and it rattles. So let's go ahead and open this up, and we'll show you what uh, it looks like. Now these aren't too hard to open up, but you do need a little special bit to get these little screws off. Normally what you need is a little star bit. I have uh, this little small one on here that I'll use for the uh, hard drive. But here's a bigger one so you can see a little bit better. It's just shaped as a star. They come in different sizes. And so that's kind of the special thing. If you don't have these lying around, you may want to buy one. Um, but, you know, that's only if you want to open up these drives. Now before we do this, um, again, this one's broken, so I have no qualms about opening this up. Now if you just kind of want to uh, open one up and let's say destroy it, this if you just want to destroy a drive, there's different ways of doing this. This is a really old drive, it probably has a metal platter, uh, the newer ones, the platters are the discs inside, uh, the newer ones are made more like glass and you could actually... Then modern ones, you can just take a hammer and just hit the outside really hard and usually you could crack or break um, the platters inside and that's all you need to do. You could also drill a hole right uh, through here and break the platter that way and that's all you need to do again. Um, I've seen people like on YouTube channels just hitting them with hammers to crush them. You really don't have to go that far. And you could just even open them up like I'm going to do right now and uh, just scratch the platter or break the platter once it's open. So we're just going to, uh, in this case, there are six screws. Uh, commonly there's a screw underneath these little labels. I don't feel one, but we'll figure that one out soon enough. So let's just go ahead and unscrew these. Doesn't seem to want to come out really easy. Let's just try a little screwdriver here. Let's see if we can pop this open. Now again, if you just want to destroy your, your hard drive, you want to back everything up on this first because once this is open, you can't really shut it. Uh, the exposure, the platters will get exposed to the air and it'll essentially destroy. The, so once this is open, it essentially destroys the hard drive. So. Yeah, it looks like there is one screw that I'm not seeing here. Well, actually, I think it's right underneath here. So obvious. There we go. <laughs> it was in plain sight. So we'll go ahead and take that one off. There's one right here as well. Well, if I found all the screws, this would have been an easy task. And now it'll come off nice and easy. And there you go. It's pretty filthy inside. I did scratch it up a little bit. But you can kind of see I did damage the drive. This thing is filthy. Look at this thing. So this is the platter right here. It is metal. This is the header right here that moves back and forth. Um, so we have, if you look on this side, this is the typical power. Uh, these are the jumper pins here. And this is the um, IDE connector. This is kind of what connects uh, the hard drive to the motherboard. 
but uh, it's not supposed to look this dirty inside, but you could definitely tell that this thing has seen better days. And so when you, um, all you have to do really now that it's open and you want to, if, if, if it didn't look this grody, you just want to just kind of scratch it like that. That's all you need to do and essentially the drive will never work again. So that's one way to destroy it. But uh, there you go. This is how you open up the drive. Hey, but I do want to do one other thing before I throw this thing away. And that is to turn it over and look here at the PCB or the PC board here. Now, I showed you this one that uh, is still working and it has a PCB on this. Now this one is identical to this one. And sometimes when hard drives go bad, it's not internal. It's not the platter, it's not the header, etc. It's actually the PCB. And if you have an identical PCB board, you can essentially just swap them. So before I uh, throw this away, I'm taking off, I'm gonna take off this, this board here and just put it aside for future use, just in case uh, this other board goes bad. There you go, and there's a little bit of powder there, but essentially I could uh, put this aside, and in case that other one goes bad, this one may actually work, and I could just swap them one for one, and you can see that they're essentially identical. So if you uh, ever want to dispose of a hard drive that you might have a duplicate to, you may want to save these little boards just in case uh, the, the other one goes bad. So there you have it. I hope you were at least entertained with this video. Uh, this is a pretty grody drive, but this is what they look like and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.